Aloha everyone, I'm Susie Nutterwitz with letsfeelexcellent.com or the YouTube channel by the same name. And we're doing um, a screen casting of uh, back pain. I just want to show you another uh, posture, another postural assessment, giving you an idea of what causes back pain or why people might come to see me to help alleviate their back pain, what I could do for them. Okay, so because we don't want to be like this lady here. So what can we do? Let, let me show you this this man here. Okay. So when we look at this person, we the first thing, I'm sorry, I'm picking my colors and things. Okay, so the, f the first thing that people may say is, well, he's overweight, of course he has back pain. But they might not know why that's significant. So let's just drop the, the center of gravity here and see how he is doing. Okay. Now, our whole world is in front of us, where our eyes are. Our eyes pull us into stimuli, and our hands pull us forward. This guy has extra weight pulling him forward. And there is a few things that I not noticed that is compromising his structure right away. So when we have gravity coming down, he's got his weight plus 33 and a half pounds per square inch pushing down on him and his whole, he's got all of this in front of him to carry. So it's kind of like carrying, oh, 50 or 60 or maybe even 70 pounds uh, not only here, but his head is a bit forward too. So it's like carrying that kind of weight, like a big suitcase around 24-7. You're just carrying that around in front of him. So then the first thing I notice is his hands. And his hands are helping to support him. Because he's got to have some stuff back here to carry this because he doesn't carry it with his hands. He doesn't wrap his hands around his belly and carry this. He carries it back here. So you see how he's got his elbows out to the side. His shoulder blades are back. His lumbar is working big time to help support him. And his lumbar, are, they're going to be uh, shifted forward. Oops. Well, that's a little squiggly there, but outside of that convolution, <laughs> that's about how his, what his spine is doing. Let's look at his hips. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, okay. Look at the angle on his hips. His hip bones are maybe about here. So the amount of pressure here, the amount of muscular contraction that he needs so he doesn't fall forward completely is incredible. So if these muscles are in constant contraction or they have the brakes on, like I say, 
so that he doesn't fall forward, then they are over time, in pretty quick time, if, if it's uh, this amount of weight and um, this kind of posture all the time, these are going to become dehydrated because if you just clench your fist, your own fist of your hand, and you keep it clenched, even for five minutes, it's going to start to hurt. And it's probably going to start to hurt up in your neck, too, because that impingement isn't, the, the body is designed to move, not to be stabilized all of the time in these areas. His knees have to be hyperextended, again, so he doesn't fall forward. He could definitely benefit from a structural integration series. If he wanted to do all of the work over Skype, then I would be working with the pinnacles of diet slash cleanse, of course. And I would be uh, coaching him into the movements that would give him the leverage to pull himself out of this. And we would know we would be making progress how he, by how he felt every single time, but we would know we would be making real progress when this pattern was no longer comfortable for him. When he would want to have a new pattern. So when people say to me, well, I had pain and I was, uh, I had to take a few days off of work or even a week or even two weeks. And they say, well, because I pulled a muscle bull feathers. Look at how many muscles are tight here. Look at how much dehydration is going to go on here. When things get dehydrated to the point where they are becoming damaged, that is when the, the structure, the organ within the structure, sends a message up to the brain and says, let's get some help here because we're breaking. If this person said to me they don't feel any pain in their life at any time, I would not believe this person unless they were so, the nervous system would have to be so desensitized to do that. And it could happen, but I would think more so that this person would be able to, to feel, feel the, um, the, uh, the the ramifications of this kind of structure. Okay. So I I would like if if this person came to me and said yes I want to do something I would like to actually see them in person and pretty quickly uh, I've had the experience of helping people feel in their body what they need to do to start reversing this. And if I couldn't see them, then I would just use, uh, I would just work with the leverage movement therapy, but um, I would have them do leverage movement therapy plus diet slash cleanse uh, at, at the very minimum with the um, five pinnacles. Now, I do have clients that are obese and they won't, they, they won't work with their diets at all. And so they just come to see me a lot. And that's what it takes. So please send me your pictures of not when you're on vacation at the beach, but um, I will show you, you know, exactly what what I need to be able to assess your posture. I need a picture of you from the front 
from from the sides both sides and the rear and then I can do that maybe use your picture on the YouTube blog so that um, you can understand what's going on when I do this with people I do send them um, the detailed readings and then also uh, when we work on the session then I send them a little video of the session so then they have those movements for life which a lot of people find very helpful okay I hope you found this video helpful if you did please give me a thumbs up and share it on your Facebook or um, whatever blog page you have and I will see you on the next one. Aloha.